Okay, in this video what we're going to do is we're going to set up an emulated file on version uh, 28 and we are going to use the emulator to do um, I.O. So we're going to emulate the I.O., the inputs and outputs. So real quick, we'll make the file. Uh, we'll call it emulate uh, I.O. And we'll just hit next and we'll pick our version. Again, uh, this particular instance... Um, I'm in uh, going to be in slot three of my emulator and I'm going to be 28. I have that processor set to version 28, so we're going to use that. Okay, so uh, as that's making, we're going to come in here to the open slots we have, which is slot seven and eight. We're going to come in here, hit create. We're going to go to the IO, the 1789 SIM 32. Um, we're going to select that. That's in slot seven. So it's important to remember slot seven. Um, we're going to put that in and you can put the marquee if you wanted to, like if you wanted to put whatever you wanted, I'm not going to put anything, um, like if you wanted to name it. So we're going to do the same thing in slot eight. So in slot eight, we're going to put that in, uh, again, if you, uh, you wanted to put a name on it, you could, you could name it whatever you want to, like, uh, slot eight I O. I mean, if you wanted to, you could do that. Um, that's what it's going to show. Uh, you can, and then you can edit it. You can do the other one. You can say slot seven IO. <clears throat> that's basically what the marquee is. It's just telling you that. Okay. So what we need to do now, um, again, we're not going to add any controls right now. Uh, we'll do that in the next video. But what we want to do is add that uh, the cards into our uh, program. So again, um, first and foremost, uh, this comes as a seven slot rack. Of course, I'm using slot seven and eight, so that's going to be a 10 slot rack. So I need to increase that. So I'm going to um, actually come in here, right click, go to properties. I'm going to change the uh, slot, the chassis size to a 10 so that I'm able to use uh, these two cards that we just added. Simulate cards. Okay, so um, now we have an emulator. Everything is, is set for uh, full emulation. We're in slot three of the, the processor is going to be in slot three. So we need to add a module to um, get the I.O. in there, to simulate the I.O., right? Okay, so what we want to do is we want to look at the 1756. And this is going to be a generic module. So this is why it's kind of complex or not complex, but it's a slightly different to set up. This is going to be a generic module. We're going to uh, create it. In the generic module, you want to put the chassis in there. So if you recall, uh, this is slot seven and slot eight. So we're going to do slot seven first. So we'll put slot seven and we'll, we'll put the name simulate uh, IO uh, seven. And then we'll just name it seven. Um, in the uh, in inputs, we're going to have um, one in the assembly instance and two in the size. The reason is uh, two in the size is because it comes into dent uh, two when you start simulating. Um, we're going to have a two in the instance and then a one in the size on the output and a 16 on the configuration and zero on the size. So uh, and I'll, I'll show you that exactly why in a minute um, another real important thing to change so you're going to be emulating in a natural um, IO module you will definitely be able to have the speed you know default to you know five R in the RPI to five uh, milliseconds in the case of uh, basically emulation you want to have it higher because you're going to basically fault that out because it can't communicate that quick and you don't want to have any problems so I, I would recommend setting this to at least 50, um, you know, as far as 50 milliseconds so it can communicate. Okay, so now that we have that set up, we can go in our I.O. tree and actually see that. So see, we have our inputs, we have our outputs, we added and our configuration if we want to choose to use that. Um, again, this is just simulation. So what we need to do now is add the second card slot eight, all right? 
So what we're going to do is add slot 8. We're going to do the same exact thing. Type up in the top 1756. Uh, come over here to basically find our generic module again. Um, we're going to call this one simulate uh, IO and then we'll call it 8. That way we know what, again, we know what card we're in. And we want to make sure our slot, again, double check your slot. You know, we're in slot 8 of our emulator, so we want to make sure we're in that same slot. Uh, put in the same basic uh, setup. And then, so, uh, 1 in the assembly instance, and uh, the size would be 2 on the inputs. Uh, 16 on the... Uh, configuration and zero on the size so we'll add that okay so now that's um, that's added we'll change our RPIs again to 50 we'll save that and what we'll do is now we have our IO in there okay, so we can come in here and do that so now all right so how do you use that okay so because we don't have any programming right we don't have anything programmed so let's first and foremost let's go and Let's actually download this to the uh, controller. Okay, so note that in your um, RS Logics, right, or your your um, RS Links Enterprise, or your RS Links Classic, you should already have this driver. Um, if you don't, you know it should automatically pull up when you actually run your simulator. Uh, if not, just add it. Uh, it's real, real simple. Just come over here, add it. Uh, come over here to the uh, configuration and then add the simulation. Um, just check it from here. Again, this is virtual backplane. Soft logics is what you would add. But you should automatically have that uh, if you're running that. So no worries. You should automatically have it. So anyway, I'm going to select my processor, which is, is the uh, slot 3. I'm going to download it. So um, as I'm, as this, this should shouldn't take long to download it all. We have no actual program in here. So um, either way, so this will show you next the most important, you know, parts to this video is actually coming up next. So um, for those who are have you know got off of this process or you know dropped the video, all right, you kind of missed out. Um, for those who stuck around. Um, you're going to get the last little tidbits you really need to know to do this. Okay, so um, the inputs go to these first, or go to the, the not dent uh, zero. You're going to go to dent one right here. And now we're going to go to our emulator. We're going to, and then we're going to click this card right here. It's going to open up the little shelf, or it's going to open up the basically the term block, if you would. We're going to go to properties. We're going to go to I.O. and that's where we're able to click on and off. See that? So that's where we're able to simulate I.O. A lot of people, you know, so can you do that same thing with the output? No, you really, you're going to have to control it. So if we wanted to choose that, so let's just say we, we copy that and we come over here and <clears throat> We put that in here, um, and then we said, "Okay, let's uh, let's put in. Uh, let, let's tell you what. Let's let's control an output, and let's see what would be a good output. Let's just say eight. Well, no, let's do seven. Let's do seven. Let's see that way it it makes sense. Um, I may need to expand this, so I'm not sure that it, you know. Let's just see if it works first. Let's just Let's not jump the gun. Uh, let's just make sure it works first. Okay, so now we have the code in there. So if we press this first one, all right, if we make this first one come on, then our output comes on. So, and, and I know it's somewhat confusing because if it's dent one zero instead of dent zero zero, um, and then on the outputs it is dent zero, uh, that's just the way the, the generic card is set up. That's just the way the I.O. is set up. So this is why it was most important that you hang on to the video right now to get the best out of it. So just know that this is how you simulate logic. 
So let's just say, for instance, we wanted to come in here and let's say we alias these bits, right? Let's just say uh, this bit was uh, light on switch. And then we came in here and we put this as a controller scope. We came in here and we put an alias in here. We said we want to alias this first bit, right? The same bit we used. Let's just alias it, right? Now we aliased it. We put it in here. So now it's going to work, right? So now let's come in here. And all I'm going to do is basically copy the, the rung we have up top. I'm not going to do anything fancy. I just want to copy it. That way it, can, it shows you exactly what's, you know, what's happening. This will be light on output. And then again we're going to change our base to alias. We're going to come in here and we're just going to pick the same tag, right? We're going to pick that 7 local 7 output data 00, zero right? So again we just scroll down, pick it, and use it. So now I come in here and delete this wrong. Okay, so now we deleted it. So let's go back over here. Let's come to properties again. Let's go to data. And you see it still works, right? So this is how you simulate uh, IO or using, <clears throat> using the uh, emulator itself. This is how you would emulate IO. And again, it's just, it's, um, it's kind of important to understand how to set up the card. Uh, so just note that the current way I current I had this set up, you can't change this while you're online. See, I'm online right now. You can't change this. So just make sure you know that you, for one, the most important thing again, top the top. Let's just talk about top three things we need to do is change the RPIs from five to fifty at the very least fifty. Okay, so now we need to, to change our inputs to an instance of one, a size of two, right? We need to change our instance of the output to two and the size to one and the configuration to 16 and the size of zero. Okay, so in you see this on um, both cards are set up is identically, right? And then you come over here to your, uh, basically your uh, virtual backplane on your emulator and just open up your properties. And then go to IO data and just basically, you know, start using them from there, you know. And if you want to clear all of them, you can just clear the inputs and it's just as good. So it's basically like toggling on and off. And that's exactly what it says right there. But for those who uh, just use this for the first time, I mean, it's a real, real cool feature. So hopefully this helps you. And um, we'll make a couple more videos actually showing this in process. So again, um, I'm only using this. So I'll show this. So again, um, we'll we'll come back and we'll do a, a couple more videos on this. And uh, again, uh, let me know what you thought. I, I'd, I'd really be curious. I mean, for those that stuck around to the end of the video, I really want to know what your thoughts are. And uh, as far as what you would like to see or maybe um, get your feedback just to, just to kind of see if, if, you know, because you guys follow me and you guys, um, you know, you, you're, you're part of this training. So I, I want to make sure I'm. I'm giving you what you want or I'm, I'm at least kind of, you know, uh, su suggestions help a whole lot as far as getting ideas and stuff like that. So really this this question right here stemmed from my Udemy course and the Udemy course, um, you know, the, the guy asked the question how to simulate it. That's actually not part of the course, but I wanted to make sure I answered it anyway because I want to make sure that I, I provide the best service I possibly can for those students that join my courses. I will be moving off of Udemy. I'm going to keep the courses on Udemy though and answering and helping and doing everything, but I've actually found a better platform that has uh, a lot better video quality. So I will be moving off of that. Regardless of that fact, if it, you know, when that happens, I'll let everybody know. So don't worry about it. And do not worry if you already have my Udemy courses, they are going to stay. Um, I just been talking to Udemy back and forth about their video quality and we're just now getting to the point where They've, uh, they're allowing the 1080p. So I want to make sure everybody gets a good quality and make sure you, if you're having video quality issues, I do record in video, uh, 1080p. So, uh, make sure you check the bottom right hand corner of the video for the gear icon. Change it. If you have a good connection, you should show up. Okay. So 
this um, real quick to sum this up this is how you simulate uh, IO so and this is again version 28 um, and using a virtual backplane you've seen it all right here so all right come back and if you're just seeing this for the first time go ahead and subscribe we got a lot of stuff you can learn and a lot of stuff I'd like to get your feedback too so let's just keep it growing